Hello people, welcome to the Dark Farms Academy. My name is Kennedy, a US Navy veteran, and I just want to say thank you and I really appreciate the support and everything that we are doing to support this family that we can encourage ourselves, we can help one another to own his own or her own business and also to motivate those that are also discouraged. That's what we are here for and I'm always here to guide you. Uh, today I decided to continue with the uh, poultry farming business plan but about a week ago a month ago I made a video concerning our egg issue and uh, last about since last week now we're having an egg issue problem with the uh, free SHS and I want to address this issue today and let you know the future of poultry business I have been in it almost uh, eight to getting to nine years now so there are a lot of things I can relate to uh, for you to learn from. Okay, so now let's look at the whole thing that is going on. Uh, for the free SHS, there has been, I don't know whether to call it a rumor or it's a, uh, it's a fact issue, but what is happening right now, since the government has not come out to uh, reject what is going on, we take it as a, as a, as a right statement. So, the government, according to Okofi Asari, the one who made that report, that the government is importing in uh, Michael, that's a, a fish from China, like uh, what's the name, Tina Power, that thing that we call the Michael fish, and it's giving to the school for the free SHS instead of them eating the uh, the eggs. So it's, people are claiming, and I also I I I said to that or I agree to that, causing the uh, egg prices to fall but i want us to by end of the day and help you what is the future of poultry business maybe you are trying to enter into poultry business and you're wondering should i go should i or i shouldn't that's what i want to address not the problem i want to find solutions to problem that's my number one priority for you but let's address the issue you see this is what is going on i always say in my last video i address it this kind of thing that is going on we can blame the government it's true 100 percent. but it's the first time that we are having this egg issue price is falling and going up and down eggs being stuck in our warehouses no i have been in this business i've already said for about eight years getting to nine years every year it happens ask people who have been in the business for that years every year we have that issue and you know, I said last time, until we have that egg regulation like the OPEC, we cannot. Now there has been, uh, the new update is uh, the Poultry Farmers Association is trying to meet the president of Ghana. Uh, this issue is mostly for Ghanaians, so if you, are, if you are from any different country, you can learn from it and every day you, know, you may know how to go by it in your own country. So they are trying to meet the, uh, the president to address this issue to help us uh, the free SHS people who uh, prepare the feed to buy the eggs but does it solve the issue no people I'm just being frank with you I'm just telling you the sincere because if you're going in I don't want you to go in and tell you poultry is very lucrative business but I don't want you to go in with expectation whilst maybe later on you can be you can lose all the concentration and lose all the interest. So, now, is it the issue of maybe meeting the president and solving that? No. You see, the problem now, we have to focus. There's too much individualism, or let me say individualistic, in the poultry business. Consider the uh, Greater Accra Poultry Farmers Association, Ashanti Regional, Ashanti, uh, Ashanti Regional, uh, poultry farmers association go to the bona half poultry farmers association all of them are asking the government for something how do you go to somebody begging him every day for something that he think is your responsibility to do and end of the day you go to him and say let's sit down again he's not going to listen for example last time i had some regions asking the government to produce uh, to give them egg containers to sort to store the egg who if that egg con containers come where does where is it going is it going to the whole poultry farmers in ghana no 
fighting individually no, that's not going to help the poultry business we, we have to do it we have to fight as uh, you have to fight collectively as a team some people asking for egg powder machine is the government going to do no in reality it's not a government responsibility but if we make the business to be lucrative then people will come in and invest calling for people for hatcheries for uh, egg processing uh, egg processing machine for meat processing machine people will come in and do it but the market has to be lucrative and what can we do now this is the future if you're going in let me give it to you so that it will encourage all of us so the future one if you're going to poultry farming right now don't maybe you are trying because of what is going let me back up no i will encourage you to back up because it's very lucrative still it's very lucrative business but what can you do to help you one the poultry farmers association board for them to help the poultry farmers the ones coming in and some of us in the middle range they have to sit down like the what the opec did set prices for the whole industry i said in my other video like if you are selling an egg in a wholesale price, this is the price. If you are going to the retail market, this is the price. The market woman, the market sell, this is the price. The uh, civilians who are consuming the egg at the market, this is the price. That is the only way we can solve that issue in future. So that is for the poultry farmers association. My own boss, my mentor, Boris B, I know. Uh, I let's share this video. Let's continue to subscribe, like, and it will get to these people. And the next one, if they are not doing it, what can you also do as an individual? One, let me give you the clue here. When you consider the poultry farming, or when you consider poultry farming, the feed that we use, the feed that we use to feed the bears, maize takes 55% of the, of the feed that we use. Because for every ton of, every ton of feed, every one ton of feed, maize is about 550 kilos or every thousand kilos of feed maize is like 500 to 550 kilos that you have to use so if you're a new person going in for you to be able to sustain or to be uh, able to uh, adapt to the market plant maize which is also a very lucrative business as i've already said in my other videos so plant maize so that if you're able to cut down your cost by 50%, no matter how we sell the eggs, you'll be fine. And this is what some of us are doing, and I want to share with you. So plant maize, 2 acres, 5 acres for your 1,000 bears, 2,000 bears to support you. So even if the prices are down, you can still benefit. So these are some of the things that we have to do. If you're coming in right now, think about planting your own maize and you are also hoping the poultry farmers association may use the method like uh, OPEC to address this issue because they're going to meet the government is right the government is going to say oh they should buy the, they should sell the eggs to the uh, students it's okay but this is not the first time and this egg selling to the SHS will not solve the whole issue people I'm telling you the fact and you can just trust me on that you let's see because before 2016, 2017, all that time, it was happening. In that time, you were not doing free SHS and other stuff. No. So free SHS, I don't support the government by doing that. For sure. But should we continue with that? So the last one is people, don't, don't let us run our business like foreign companies. Buying things, using lights. No. We don't need lights all the time. You're be in your pottery if you're not using the light to uh what's the name to pump water to uh, to mess machine to mess your uh, to make your own feed you don't need to use light on your pottery uh, where the bears are sleeping it's all costly try to minimize cost as much as you can so i want to still encourage you there is future in pottery business but if you are going to pottery and you don't consider planting maize you don't cut down a lot of cost like uh, drinkers, getting the cheaper ones, and also uh, reducing the light issues, and also we fighting for the uh, for the poultry farmers to come together to address this uh, to address this price. If we don't do that, if five years, ten years, we stand at a very high risk. This is what I want to share with you, so that you can know it's still very beneficial to go into poultry farm farm. I thank you so much and I say God bless you and chase your dream.
and money will follow you. Peace. Shalom.